and what is going on? There's a heavy sodium influx and what is happening? Depolarization is happening. Here is your resting membrane potential and here is your threshold potential. So at the beginning of the QRS in the ventricle resting membrane potential approaches yes threshold and then what I what opens what is this fast sodium channel or voltage gated sodium channels a lot of sodium comes in what is happening a lot of sodium is yes please coming into cells so cells are being loaded with the sodium during the QRS complex formation is that right during this ST segment what is happening that potassium loss has started potassium loss has started potassium channels are working as well as calcium channels are also working right it means that potassium is going yes potassium channels open so potassium is going out but at the same time calcium channels are also open so what is coming in yes please calcium is coming in so naturally this calcium will trigger the further release of calcium from intracellular stores and contraction will start is that right and there's a plateau in ventricular action potential is that right now let's do the timing when myocardial cells are undergoing the onset of depolarization onset of depolarization on ECG is represented by QRS and after the depolarization, complete depolarization, there is plateau phase. During the plateau phase, calcium, calcium channels are open as well as potassium channels are open. Potassium is going out of the cell and calcium is coming into the cell. So cell cells, myocardial cells are losing the cations as well as gaining the cations. So electrical potential is not changed, it remains stable. But by the end of this ST segment, suddenly calcium channels stop calcium channels become closed but potassium channel become further open is that right these are the potassium channels so what really happen that as time passes by now you see calcium channels are becoming off after this point and but potassium channels are progressively opening further so there is heavy potassium loss and this heavy potassium loss leads to which event repolarization. repolarization event that now it is it should match with repolarizing event right so now you can correlate the electrical event in myocardial cells and the electrical events shown on the ECG again let's recap the myocardial cells are undergoing depolarization process action potential is showing upstroke which is called zero phase of depolarization and that very time ECG recording is showing QRS complex so whenever you see next time in your life QRS complex it means that that very moment the needle is making QRS complex ventricle cells are undergoing depolarization when you see ST segment then action potential is in plateau phase and when the T wave is there that signifies repolarization is that right now you can see in three ways correlate the things number one electrical elements in the cell action potential vectorial analysis and ECG pattern formation is it clear now after this discussion I would like that I want to discuss the different types of waves segments and intervals related with the ECG recording. Now, I will show you the waves, then I will show you the segments and then I will show you important intervals now first of all how we define waves waves are produced due to deflections of the needle during the ECG recording 
For example, when needle is deflected upward, P wave is formed. So P is a, this is a wave. In the same way this is produced through deflection down. So this is a wave. This is deflection up, this is a wave. Right? In the same way deflection down, this is a wave. So what are waves? Waves are the fluctuations pattern made on the ECG recording due to fluctuation of the needle. Is that right? Now, which waves we can see in this diagram? If this is normal ECG, number one, you can see the wave. What is this wave? First of all, up to hit this, P wave. P wave. What is this? P wave. Then, the next wave is Q wave immediately followed by R wave and then followed by S wave. Many times they are these three waves are put together and in the beginning of the Q wave and up to the end of the S wave this duration yeah this is Q R S complex or total duration of Q R S complex is also called Q R S interval. What is this called? QRS interval. Because Q is a single wave, R is a single wave, S is a single wave. But when these three things are put together, they can be called interval. Right? So this is signifying three waves together, that is QRS interval. Then there is no fluctuation. So it is not a wave. But there is again fluctuation. So this will be, yes, called T wave. T wave. So how many waves do you have in normal ECG? P wave for atrial, atrial depolarization. Remember atrial repolarization does not make a wave because when atria is undergoing repolarizing process at that very moment um, ventricular depolarization is making QRS complex. So very weak atrial repolarizing current is masked by or masked by the ventricular depolarizing currents. Is that right? So we see atrial depolarizing wave, but we do not see atrial repolarizing wave. Then next is QRS wave, the spread of depolarization in the ventricle, QRS interval of waves. Then T wave, that is the, what is that? Ventricular repolarization. Now, in between the waves, you find that there are straight line. There is one this straight line, right? And there is another straight line here. These straight lines are also called isoelectric line. Why? Straight lines are drawn by the needle when ne needle of the machine is not fluctuating. It means it is not recording any electrical activity. Is that right? So we say there is isoelectric event during which needle is not moving and but paper is moving under the needle. So it makes a straight line. So what is this? This is isoelectric line. This is another isoelectric line. These isoelectric lines are the lines or isoelectric segments are the segments in between the waves and these segments are drawn when there is no fluctuation of the needle, when electrodes are not recording any significant electrical activity in the heart. Am I right? Now, this isoelectric line, yeah, or this segment, we start at the end of the P wave and ends at the beginning of QRS complex is called P R segment. What is it called? P R segment. Ideally, it should be called P Q segment. But in, when we change the position of the electrode for different leads, sometimes Q wave is not drawn. Due to that reason, conventionally, doctors started, uh, started calling uh, the segment between the P wave and the QRS complex as PR segment. Is that right? So PR segment is a straight line which signifies which electrical activity? When current is passing through? AV node. This is PR segment. Then you have one more segment here. At the end of the QRS complex and at the beginning of T wave. So this is called S T segment.